Good morning, it's Monday morning, this is Coffee with God, so I trust that you've got a decent cup of coffee and your Bibles. Turn to the Gospel of John, chapter 1, the Evangelie van Johannes, hoofstuk 1. Kijk na hierdie ongelooflike lekker kopie koffie wat ek hier so het vir oogend. Ek hoop jy geniet jou koffie vir oogend. Hierdie maandag oogend, ek... sit in perhaai voor vir die week en doen bykie beplanning en bykie bid oor alles wat wat hierdie week gaan gebeur. En het laat my dink toe aan Nathaniel, een van die disciples, nie nie die pleskop wat so snaaks praat nie. In die Bijbel dink ek aan die ou wat onder die vij, onder die palmboom gesit het en omself voorbereid het vir een ontmoeting met God. Um, and it just made me think some pretty good thoughts. John 1 verse 48. Let's just read it together. John 1 verse 48. Nathaniel said to him, how do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Uh, sorry, I said palmboom, it's fireboom. Uh, Nathaniel was sitting under a fig tree. What was he doing? Well, houses in those days were pretty crowded places, one room affairs. So in order to get a bit of quiet, a bit of solitude, what would often happen is people would go out and do their their quiet times, their times of preparation and prayer and reflecting on God under a tree. And what's interesting is Nathaniel is busy preparing himself. He didn't know what for because Philip hadn't come to call him to say, today, I want you to meet Jesus. I want you to, I want you to make a decision that's going to change the trajectory of your life for the next three years at least as you follow after Jesus. And then after that, you're going to become, you're going to be filled with the Holy Spirit of God and you're never going to go back to sitting under a fig tree like you sat there before. His life that day was changed irrevocably, un, unalterably. And, and I use the word changed, but it's actually transformed because there was no going back. There was no turning back after he'd met with Jesus in the way that he did. And what for me was interesting is as I was preparing for this week, as I was sitting there and, and writing out the various appointments that I know of already and just praying over those appointments and praying for the the various things that need to be done this week in order to kick the can a little bit further down the road this week, make progress on the things that I'm aspiring to and the goals that I have and the plans that the Lord has given me. And I realized that for many of us, we, we put off praying, we put off preparing, we put off the time under the fig tree. And yet we need to realize that God doesn't only see us when we're in the battle. God doesn't only see us when we, when we're out there working. God doesn't only see us when we're in church worshiping or when we're busy witnessing for somebody or we encounter an attack from Satan and we're on the battlefield and we're fighting for our spiritual lives. God doesn't only see us then. He sees us in the quiet preparation time. He sees us in the still time, in the time when we're sitting in our closets on our own in solitude, in silence, and we're pouring our heart out before God. And listen to me, he calls those who prepare themselves in the quiet times more than he calls those who are just available on the battlefield. Because it's in the preparation that we find our ground in. This in die voorbereiding wat ons doen vir die gevech, wat ons in staat maak om een goeie vechter te wees. Dis nie, dis, uh, ek vat, uh, ek rij nou uh, fiets, um, as ek weet, ek gaan nou 40 kilometer die saterdag rij, um, dan, dan probeer ek om tenminste 45 of 50 te rij in die week, en een paar extra kilo's aan te sit, so dat ek weet ek is in staat om die 40 te kan doen, en is precies die selfde geestlik, ons, ons moet ons self voorbereid, ons moet ons self inoefen, 
En hoe doen ons dit? Dit is nie net wanneer ons op die, op die oorlog veld is. It's not only when we're in action that we build up strength, but it's in the preparation time. So as you go into this week, make sure that you've set aside time and it's become a priority that you pray and that you soak your life in prayer, that you spend time in God's presence quietly on your own before you go out to walk with God, to walk in His presence. I trust that you're going to have a wonderful week and that the Lord is going to bless you. He's going to see and know that He sees every moment of your life. And He he loves you and He enjoys watching over you with delight. It says, turn your face to me, Lord, with delight. Look over me. Uh, I trust that that's what you'll experience this week. Have a wonderful Monday. Enjoy the rest of your coffee. Sit quietly and reflect on your preparation for this day.